Stargaze will have a treat tonight. A supermoon, also known as a buck moon, will be visible. It's one of four supermoons to be visible this year. Joining me for more on this is astrophysicist Brad Tucker. All right, so it's 14,000 miles closer. Yep. So 26 is still a fair way away. How yeah. different will it look? Yeah, look, so, I mean, the moon is on average 384,000 kilometres away, so 26,000 kilometres. percent closer. Yeah, exactly. So it appears about 5 or so percent bigger, right, in the sky. So if... If you didn't know, you would just think, hey, it kind of looks like a big, bright, full moon. If you saw it side by side with, say, a normal distance moon, or even what we call a micro moon, the, the opposite where it's further away, yeah. you can actually notice the side by side comparison okay. if you hold If you it had to the a, micro compared to the super. You, you can really definitely notice it. That's yeah. right. But you know, you won't be like, hey, the moon's crashing into it. But it does mean it's a bit bigger appearing in the sky and therefore a bit brighter in the sky. Okay. I, I remember cool as a kid, you sort of grow up, look how big the moon is tonight. And my, in my mind, it was usually close to the horizon. Is that a thing? That is very much a thing. Okay. And it is very much a, it's two effects. It's both a physical effect and an optical illusion. So things looked a little bit more, uh, a little bit bigger near the horizon because of curvature. And also you get atmospheric distortion changing it. So kind of just as the sun can sometimes yeah. look bigger at sunrise. Okay. But you also then have things to compare to. So you have trees and buildings. Right. So you say, hey, you know, your brain knows what the size of a house is. And then you see a giant moon next yeah. to it. So it looks really huge. Okay. I, I love the experiment. If you just hold out your thumb next to it here, and then like a few hours later when it's higher, your thumb okay, will the be thumb the same. Yeah, yeah, the thumb is kind of the All same right. apparent size, but it's a kind of a cool mental trick, which means actually seeing the full moon or the super moon is actually best when the moon is rising because that's when you get kind of the, the biggest effect when it's rising in the eastern sky. Now, I always thought the moon orbits Earth, so it's should just be the same distance. What's that? What's happening here with this? Yes. Yeah, so, so, so there's essentially a bit of a wobble. It's not a perfect circle. So it's kind of more elliptical shape. And so as the moon goes around, the orbit varies by about 45,000 kilometers. Pretty big difference. Yeah, it's about 10%. Yeah, just a little over 10%. So when you get it closer, it obviously looks bigger, that super moon. When it's further away, the micro moon, it looks a little bit smaller. And that, and that, so that variation happens all the time. So it's, it's kind of naturally That's wobbling just around. It's settled, however many billion years ago. Yeah, it's, it, be, it has to do with actually how it was formed altogether due to this collision. So in a sense, something crashed into the Earth about 4 billion years ago a whole bunch of rock and part of that spilt out and eventually formed the moon. And then so it's actually been drifting away, but never in that perfect kind okay. of center of mass area, which means that we get that wobble. All right. Now, here's, I always ask you what I call a silly question at the end. The moon controls our tides. Yep. Tick. Okay. I always get worried. No, no, no. It definitely affects the tides. That's so right. what if it disappeared? So, so don't worry about how meteorite yeah, yeah, yeah. it and we're all fine. Just goes away. What what it, it no would, tides? It would affect it. So They're for instance, tides? well, for instance, on a supermoon, you get bigger tides. They get what they call king tides because it's closer. That gravitational pull is more. So if you do have the moon disappear, the tides actually would would stop altogether. You know, however mechanism that moon disappeared to. So there'd be waves. You would still you but, still could get just waves. The, water the same. Yeah, way. exactly. But it wouldn't change. But even the waves would change as right. well because smaller. Because it's not all shifting. Yeah, it'd be different. Um, it would also affect the rotation. So, in fact, one of the things the Earth moon does is it keeps the rotation of the Earth in check. Right. As the moon shifts away, our day is slowing down. If the moon disappears, our rotation would almost stop to a halt over time, which means we would then have... Permanent light or permanent darkness yeah. in different parts of the world. And we know of planets that are like that. So we, we need the moon. You do we need a moon appreciation day. I, I agree. Like, you okay. know, we have all of these things. There should be maybe a week. All right. <laughs> Brad Tucker, thank you.